This is the kind of decline the city of Syracuse is actually thrilled to talk about. The number of vacant properties around town has dropped significantly, and as New Shenline's Jeff Kulikowski tells us tonight, it's a sustained decrease. After trying futilely for years to tackle the problem of vacant homes, the city of Syracuse seems to really be turning a corner. It seemed as many, as, as many properties as we were redeveloping, another vacant would come in its place. So it's, it's incredibly exciting to see that not just the trend plateau, but to, to decrease um, and significantly. Since 2017, a 12% drop. And going back to 2015, an even bigger decline from the roughly 1,800 vacant homes back then. Well, there's now about 400 less of them, a 21% reduction. You know, I've had vacant properties on my street, and, and it, they really are cancers. The mayor says the approach is dealing with current vacant properties, but also being proactive with ones that easily could be. We want to try to figure out what the problems are and solve them, because they really can uh, uh, bring a neighborhood down quickly. They say the land bank, created in 2012 by the city and county, has been key to acquiring tax-delinquent properties and getting them fixed up and put back on the market. Money from the state AG's office is now allowing them to try some other creative strategies to deal with tax current properties that have fallen in disrepair. We have the ability to correct code violations, but we didn't always have the resources or the money to do it. Um, so we were able to correct these exterior code violations and bill the owner, much like when we cut lawns. This is an example of a home that's just been blight busted on the north side. The city's come in, fixed up some of the code violations, put in new steps to make it that much more marketable for somebody to buy. We're trying to change the culture of response and that, um, you know, owners need to know that we, we're, we're serious and that we have these tools and that rolling the dice doesn't work anymore. Even the threat is helping turn around rundown houses. Just take a look around at the changes in Syracuse neighborhoods. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. It's impressive. 12 properties have been blight busted with 15 more expected this summer. The city expects the funds collected from this effort will replenish the repair fund over time.